Hey, this is Dan from CareStream Dental. Real quick, I'm gonna show you a couple of very easy ways that we can use to import CBCT volumes into CareStream Dental Imaging version eight software. So we have made this significantly easier than previous versions. And let's say you're a specialist office who receives CBCT scans every day. You're using CSI eight, and you wanna make sure that you're keeping those radiographs along with all of the other clinical information that you have with that patient in your imaging software. Um, or let's say you're a general dentist. This is important too, where you're sending patients out for CBCT scans, or you're receiving them from the specialists that you are referring to. And again, you want to keep those along with all of the other clinical information for your patient. Uh, this is a very simple process. So we are looking at CareStream Dental Imaging 8 right here. We have the patient browser list on the left. This is the patient browser screen. If you are running this in standalone, meaning you don't have it connected to a patient or practice management software, you're gonna see this patient browser on the left. Your patient names are gonna be on the left. And in this case, we just searched for this patient, which we just named, importing CBCT volumes into CSI 8. All of your images and uh, radiographs and documents and everything that you have associated with that patient are going to be right here. In this case, we have none. If you received a CBCT scan from a CareStream Dental office, this is very similar to what it's going to look like. You've got a view data, which is this is the application that runs the light viewer so that you can view that CBCT volume. Uh, the, this light viewer isn't going to have all of the functions and features available to it that you would with the full version. And it's worth noting too that the full version of the CareStream Dental 3D viewing software is free and unlicensed. If you'd like to have it to use to treat endo cases or you'd like to use it for your implant cases, uh, that's easy to do. You can reach out to a CareStream Dental rep or you can go to carestreamdental.com and download a full version of the 3D viewing software. Just uh, let us know if you'd like to learn how to do that. But this is the light viewer. So, but not a lot of people know this. Actually inside this data folder is the file per slice DICOM. Carestream Dental CBCTs acquire in DICOM format and this is how they export. So in that file per slice DICOM, which is kind of the industry standard right now. So in, in order to import those, we're gonna to go to our CS imaging screen and from the patient browser, we can import those directly. So we're just, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to our import button. So it says in this case, import 2D images. And we've got this little white arrow in the lower right corner of that. So I'm gonna click on that. That's gonna give me more options. And I'm gonna select import 3D images. Okay, and that opens us up right to our USB drive. This is where that CBCT is located. So I'm just gonna select this and that's gonna import that CBCT volume. All right, so that's been loaded. Now we've got the CBCT volume here. And then we've got one of the screenshots that was taken from that image as well that was housed right inside that folder. Now I'm gonna show you a second way that we can do this that's also very easy. If we go to, you've already got the, the, the folder open. We can go right to our data folder. And again, this is where that CBCT is located. There's our file per slice DICOM right there. So I'm gonna leave this folder up. All right, and then from the patient browser screen, I'm gonna move over to the image viewer and we do that by clicking on this right arrow right here. So there's where if we were to open up one of those images, this is where that would open up for those of you guys who are used to using the RVG 6200 sensors or other CareStream dental sensors or our intraoral camera, this screen might be familiar to you, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna, from this screen, we're gonna just take this folder right here that has that DICOM in it. We're just gonna drag and drop that right into the image viewer. It's important to note that this does not work from the patient browser screen. So if you try to drag and drop those folders into that screen, you're gonna receive a message letting you know that you're not able to do that. This drag and drop function only works in the image viewer. All right, and then there's our screenshot in the image viewer. And if we go back to our patient browser screen, now we have two of these CBCT volumes. I hope this helps you guys out. I hope you all have a great day.